Hello, this video introduces Absara DB, the database service from Alibaba Cloud. It shows how to set up the service and create an Apsara DB for RDS MySQL instance, to which you can then migrate one or more existing databases. Migrating to a cloud-based database server instance, such as Apsara DB, means there's no underlying operating system or virtual server for you to pay for, secure, patch, or manage. Epsara DB instances are fast, cost-effective, easy to back up, and very quick to scale when you need additional performance. To use Epsara DB, you'll need an Alibaba Cloud account. If you don't already have one, head to www.alibabacloud.com. You will also need to ensure that you have already created a VPC, or virtual private cloud, and an accompanying virtual switch for it. For the purposes of this tutorial, our VPC is in the Frankfurt hosting region, so we'll provision our Apsara DB for RDS instance there too. First, we log into our Alibaba Cloud account console, and from the Apsara DB menu, choose Apsara DB for RDS. We choose the correct region, then click on the Create Instance button. For this video tutorial, we'll use the pay as you go billing method. You pay by the hour while your instance is active, and terminating the instance will result in no further charges. We click on the relevant billing option tab to select it. Next, select the hosting region where our Apsara DB instance will be located. We choose Frankfurt as that's the location of our VPC. Now we need to choose our database engine and version, and the zone of the hosting region that we want. For this tutorial, we choose MySQL v5.7 in Frankfurt Zone A. We don't need high availability for now, so we will opt for the basic version, which is cheaper. Now we set up the networking and select the VPC and vSwitch. We can choose the specification of our Epsara DB instance. The smallest, cheapest instance will suffice for now. We click on Buy Now and proceed to place the order and make payment. The instance will start running in a few minutes. Now we need to set a whitelist. This is a list of IP addresses which are permitted to connect to it. By default, no addresses are allowed to connect, so we need to change this. Click on the instance name. Click on the security link on the left-hand side and modify the default list. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will allow access from all IP addresses. On the Basic Information page, you can see the intranet address to connect to your Epsara DB instance from an Alibaba Cloud ECS server in the same region. We want to connect from elsewhere, so we click to request an intranet address, which takes just a few seconds to set up. We copy the address to the clipboard as we'll need it shortly. We now need to create an account so that we can connect to the instance in order to use it for storing databases. On the Basic Information screen for our instance, we click on the Accounts link in the left-hand menu. We'll create an initial account, call it root, and set a password. We should now be able to connect to the Epsara DB instance using a MySQL client, or a scripting language such as PHP. For this video, we have installed MySQL Front, a free client for Windows that you can download from www.mysqlfront.de. We run the client and choose a name for our database connection. For the host name, we paste in the internet connection address of our Epsara DB instance. We will use the root account and the password we chose. Click OK, and we are now connected to the Epsara DB instance. We can now create a database, as well as uploading a backed up copy of an existing database into the new instance. That's the end of this video, so you should now be able to create an Epsara DB RDS instance of your own. To get started, visit www.alibabacloud.com. Thanks for watching.